Hey everyone, since my first posts of videos I received lots of constructive criticism about how fast I was moving the cards for people and that I wasn't speaking loud enough at the end for people to hear me so I just wanted to do a retake and watch my video presentation and read the cards to you in my tone of voice rather than you having to read my tone of ink on the cards. So hopefully I could do this without choking on my juice or laughing at myself. The uniqueness of Canada calls for unique policies. Policies that really will make Canada stronger and more unified. Here is what I propose. Let's implement a national body for the recognition of foreign degrees, professional accreditation, and licensing. This implementation would reduce racial and ethnic bias immigrants face in our system while putting skilled labor into the workforce, which would further Canada's economic, social, and political standings in the eyes of every citizen of the entire world. Conserving and sustaining energy is something we must do. We can build eco-friendly and sustainable living environments by encouraging innovation and research on renewable energy. I would offer incentives, bursaries, and grants to educational institutions fostering new innovation and design. These incentives would also be encouraged to the medical, environmental, and social sciences. Encouraging research and design builds quality education and builds trust for a government who believes in furthering the pursuit of knowledge. I feel that knowledge is power, and the more citizens, young and old, we can educate with quality and affordable education, the more power we can give to Canadians, ourselves. I believe in responsibility. My cabinet ministers and I would work across the political floor in the House of Commons to encompass all interests of elected political parties. By working across political boundaries, we can progress in bridging Canadian difference. I also propose amending the Canadian Senate by reducing the amount of seats from 105 to 26. Two seats per province and territory. No more, no less. I also would amend the judicial system to include victims' rights to play a larger role in trial processes, plea bargaining, and sentencing. This would help our current adversarial system transi transition into a system of reconciliation rather than competition. I wish to maintain direct communication with every country in the entire world, no matter what political orientation they adhere to. I want to see Canada become a world leader in peacekeeping it once was. We can have peace in, Af in Afghanistan if we limit the amount of guns our Canadian peers and soldiers carry on person. If our soldiers present themselves as peace soldiers with minimal presentation of their guns, the people of Afghanistan won't be frightened by foreign occupation. Canada will be successful in bringing peace to that region if we present ourselves as peace if I were Prime Minister, I would encourage and help subsidize expansion of the Canadian railroad system to uh, encompass easy and accessible travel to our great territories. I would also designate each month of the year for national awareness concerning issues in Canada. As Prime Minister, there would be many cultural celebrations to simply promote joy and peace within our diverse country. National referendums will also be held to figure ca whether Canada should invest further in stem cell research and whether we should legalize marijuana. I would also post most of the Canadian naval fleet around waters which border Canadian shores. I would offer CBC more resources to conduct contests which engage average citizens' participation, like this contest. I would also alleviate the burden of paying back student loans by extending the six-month interest-free grace period to, to a full 24 months to allow post-secondary graduates some time to find work travel, or continuous studies. These are my proposals to make a stronger, unified Canada. I believe a strong leader wants to plant the seeds of tomorrow and today 
in the Canadian vineyard with optimism, hope, and vision. Canada, my home and native land, my name is Chad Webb, and I'm 23 years old from Edmonton, Alberta, and I want to be your next great Prime Minister. That was decent. Okay, that's the final take. Final take.